So, welcome. I'm going to take a look at the LEGO Futron monorail transport system. And if you watch my videos, you may know I'm usually on the table, but I'm on the floor right now because this box is fairly large. I couldn't get the whole thing in frame. So just a small portion of the video here will be on the floor. And this is part of the space theme for LEGOs, but it's like a, a subset, Futron released in 1987 it's also when it introduced the blacktron theme so lego had expanded the space theme in 1987 for a few years and as the name indicates it's a monorail system so it doesn't quite all fit on the front of the box cover but it's just a long track and then you don't really get a whole lot the monorail is really cool but you just get this small little station here a platform for I guess loading and unloading the storage bin which you can see another one here unless they do that at this station <laughs> I don't know I haven't built this in quite a while and this little skimmer type vehicle I think they're supposed to be on the moon so let me flip it over the back just shows you know other things you can build of course the manual only shows you how to build the main set and then you just use your imagination to come up with things like this probably making a mess <laughs> inside the box but everything wasn't exactly where it's supposed to be anyway all right so if you were in the store you can raise the flap to see what you get and yeah it's all kind of dumped around but last time i built it i I took it apart but not completely so it's just kind of partial builds on the side here then the tracks which all dumped out just sit in this plastic holder here and then the flap you know there's some glare when I move it it's just from the window the flap shows you what you get inside what it can do with the train there's arrows all over it, that it moves all in you know back and forth so I'm going to switch to the table now to give you a closer look at a few of the pieces before the build. So I don't have everything in the box, like I said, exactly how it should be because I have things partially built. So like these blue parts would be here, but I have some track pieces. The track does sit nicely in this holder and then this lifts out. There's the paperwork and it's just like a background image. So I've got the train separate that I'm going to show you. I'm just going to remove the box here from the table. Of course it comes with a catalog. Just jump to the space page. As you can see there were a bunch of future on sets. I don't know if I own any more than the monorail, maybe some of these tiny vehicles, but there aren't too many big sets. There's this nice space lab here, and then mostly some vehicles. And like I said, there's Blacktron as well, which launched at the same time. I do have one of these, this one here. And it came with an order form for more track. So they're $22 each. I guess you get this whole set for that and then the manual which is 28 pages not counting a fold out page and I usually say go to the blog I'll have everything scanned I'll, I didn't scan this whole manual just mostly it's kind of big and unless you have these pieces you're probably not going to try to build this so I just scan the front and back and I photograph the, the fold out page you can see here it comes with five minifigures, two blue, three yellow. And these guys, they are a little different than your standard space figures. If you recall, the space guys, regular Lego space sets, are a solid color. And the Futron all have this kind of half white, half yellow chest piece. Same symbol, just a bit smaller. And it talks about the 9 volt battery that powers the monorail. And I'm just going to flip through here to the fold-out page. Uh, it's too big to fit in frame. I'll just kind of 
put it along, but this is the full set. This is what it'll look like once I build it. I will build it off camera though. I don't know how long it's going to take me to put it all back together. Here's a photo on the back of some other things again that you can build. You can do this little circle. Looks like some kind of, sort of looks like a, I guess a sled. <laughs> they did this little vehicle. I don't think they're using the battery. All right, so before I get to the build, let me just show you the, uh, the monorail or the train. So it has these removable storage compartments. There's another one in the box. So this side here is actually just the battery. And this is a little vehicle you can build. It just gets held in there. So I guess if they park the train, they can get out and use this to get around. You can fit one guy in the front and one or two in this side. I'm going to show you this side of it. Uh, these fall right off though. I am missing one piece so far that I'm having a hard time finding. It's one of these that looks kind of more like the cone type shape. I replaced it here which is the a cylinder of the same translucent blue. So this is the, the motor here in the middle. And this part's the 9 volt battery. So I'm going to turn it on. It doesn't go anywhere when it's not on the track. Let's flip it over. So it, it rotates this little thing that these notches, it's the way the track works. So it, this is going to spin, but if it's not on the track, it doesn't move the train anywhere. So you can hear it spinning. I know it's a little bright in here, but this light is on right now. It just turns on so you know it's on, I guess. And it looks neat to have some light on here. And you can play with it probably in the dark a little bit to make it feel like you're in space. All right, so I'm going to build the set next off camera and then show you that. I'm set up now in the kitchen. So the audio is not going to be great. The lighting's probably not going to be great. But it's the only place I could go to have it, you know, set up the way the manual wants it set up because it's very long. And so the camera's so far back. This is, this table's five feet long and the set is nearly as long. Although it has a lot of empty space around it, you need to, you know, lay the track out. So you need a lot of good space. The table's three feet wide, but there's at least an, probably about a foot extra space on the sides. So this set, I failed to mention, is 715 pieces. So it's quite a few pieces, even though it may not look like it. There's a lot of tiny pieces. And they weren't all in the box when I showed it to you, so... <laughs> if you're thinking they were all in that box, no, they weren't. That's why it looked like less, but... Even so, it probably doesn't look like much here. Let me turn on the train. The train can go either direction, and you don't have to touch the train to change it. You can change it by operating the switches at each of these stations. What you do is turn a knob to make it stop or turn around. You can do that on either side of the track. The motor piece has a switch on it that just gets pushed side to side by whatever you have the switches set on here the station track. So I'm going to pick up the camera and maneuver it around the track so you can get a close up. And yes, it'll probably be a little shaky. I'm going to try to hold it with one hand and touch some knobs and things to show you everything as a maneuver it. See the train just went past and the switch is right here. Just focus on it if I can. You can see there's an arrow pointing what direction it's going to go. So I turned it straight, uh, pointing toward the building so that it would stop. And this is, you know, each station has a loading, unloading type deal going on for this crate. This one right here. So what you do is the building moves to get closer to the train. This is where you place the container. 
So there's a knob. Here, let me just show you. Back here. You know, you might also be hearing squeaking because my floor squeaks a bit. And of course you still have to pick it up yourself. And take the container off. Put it there. And I guess take it back in. There are two containers with the set that you build. The other one's over here in this transport vehicle. So it's a space vehicle, it doesn't have wheels. It says these little thrusters. I'm going to put this one over at this other building. There's a spot, if you can see it, down here. Now that also, you know, I'm banging into stuff, has a knob over here so that when you turn it, it raises the container up to the track level. Right, let me set the train on its way. It's gonna get there before I do. I'll just show you around the track. So there's little radar dishes on each side. This little gateway here. The microphone is probably picking me up poorly in some spots because it's on the corner of the table. So then here's the other container. Technically it goes this way. And I will set it on its way back the other direction. This is gonna bang back on this half the track based on how I have it set. And end the video here because I think that's pretty much everything. So thanks for watching.